Brothers and sisters, uh, just a few more thoughts on uh, some of the musings from my retreat in Fatima. I couldn't help but when I was there to think about why Our Lady chose children, not just shepherd children, but children. And I was musing on that and especially how demanding it seemed that Our Lady was on the children and how demanding God was on them. At first, without eyes of faith, this could seem a bit harsh or unnecessary or a bit over the top. Um, but maybe we've just lost the sense of how much God should be the center of all our lives. And that when God is center, the joy and the peace that comes, and that's why God is demanding. God is demanding that we live life to the full and to have an abundance of life, as Jesus said. Jesus came to to transmit his life to us, to give us his life that he shared in abundance for all eternity with his heavenly father. And that life that they share, that love that they share is the fullness of the Holy Spirit, is the, is the Holy Spirit. So in Fatima, we see Our Lady saying to the children to pray constantly and to offer sacrifices constantly for souls because uh, Our Lady in one of the apparitions showed them hell, which again is a quite a terrifying thing. But, but maybe there's a deeper truth there that, that no matter who we are, we're to really understand the reality that we face in this life, that we can lose our souls. And, but, but also that is always cast in, in, in the greater message of hope, as what Our Lady said to the children, that if we pray and if we, we, we live the sacramental life and we offer sacrifices and we love and we live the gospel, then we have huge hope of going to heaven to be with the Lord. And the, and the children, even when they saw... In their, in their accounts of the apparitions and in their accounts of when the angel had appeared to them three times before Our Lady actually came in, in 1917. Um, when she came before in, when the, sorry, the angel came in, 20, in 1916 to prepare them. You know, they, they were, they were filled with, with huge respect for God, but also a joy. Like remember words of Francesco, Francesco that he said that, when, our, when he saw Our Lady, he saw that she was filled with Jesus and that the, uh, a light of God penetrated their hearts and an understanding of God illuminated their mind. And they were overcome by that love of God. And so this is, I think, the, the general context of how to understand God's demands on these children. I also think Fatima is a judgment by God to show us, um, you know, how much we should pray. Uh, how much we should give our lives to to the Lord and to make God totally center of our lives. And I guess people who don't understand maybe our faith or the, the extent of how God, the Lord and the Lord Jesus had required us to really center everything on him, they might say that's over the top. That's a bit fanatical. Um, and and with the best Catholics in the pews uh, sometimes may even think like that. And when I say best Catholics, I mean, people who come to Mass often uh, who who are involved in, in, in works of charity, et cetera, et cetera. But, but I still have yet to come to really know the Lord's heart and to know that the Lord had called his disciples away from everything. That's not just for priests or nuns, but that's for all of us. Now, we still have to live in the world and we still have to live our practical life. We still have to live our lives as husbands and wives, as parents, as brothers and sisters, sons and daughters, and myself, a priest and ministry. Absolutely. But we, we were to be detached from the world um, in, in the sense that detachment should be understood in the sense of that God is first, that we do everything in view of God. Um, and this makes sense because we're just little creatures. We're, we're we're, we're nothing compared to God, but God has chosen to give us life and loves us and his love makes us worthy in that sense and his, and his goodness communicated to us. But everything has come from him. So it's the ego, it's the false self that goes around uh, and it's just pure pride in us that, 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 that says to God, I don't need to give you all this time. I don't need, that, that's fanatical, that's over the top. I don't need, I don't have to give you all of that. It's enough just to go to mass on Sunday. It's enough just to say my wee little prayers in the morning. No, brothers and sisters, it's not enough. God, if we really understood God and his goodness and his love and how much he's given us, if we really understood his incredible love, then, then we'd want to give him everything. We want to share everything. And we see this in human relationships. 
you know, when somebody loves us incredibly, we want to share just as much back with them and want to give them everything. And uh, so when God's love for us becomes really real in our life, then that's a good measure by looking at our own heart and how much we want to give back to God. How much we want to give back to God, how much we want to put God at the center of our life is a measure of, of how much we really received his love and are convinced that he loves us. And so come back to this point about the judgment, what I meant by, by God and Fatima, is that he's saying that how much we expect little children to pray often would say to us how much we think we should pray. You know, if God's saying these children need to pray and make sacrifices, how much more us adults who are not as innocent? So we're called to great amounts of prayer and, and, and really to detach from the things, useless things of this world that take our time and give that to God. May the Lord bless you.